In this video, I want to show you one of my new favorite question types in Add Assessments. So, remember, when you go to Add Materials, you'll click on Add Assessments. I've already started a um, test right here, so I'm going to open it up. Now, the one I want to show you today is the chart feature, which is graphs and graphing. All right, um, so I'm going to click on the chart so I can start a new question. Now, I've already copied and pasted, uh, I'm going to copy and paste a question. So up here at the top is where you would put your information or your question. So I'm going to have them make a bar graph to represent the cans of vegetables. Okay, so I'm going to put as my title, Cans of Vegetables. <coughs> Oops, got that backwards. And then for my value here, how top, how much I want it to go up right here. So I'm going to put it at, let's just go ahead and put it at 80. All right. Now for this, I'm going to put number of cans for my x axis here. Now down here I'm going to add some labels. I'm going to put peas and I'm going to put green beans. Let's do spinach. And I, now I'm going to add a few more because I have more. So there's corn and there's beets and I think I got them all. Okay, so now that I have these, it is important that you leave it on interactive so that the kids can drag the bar graph up. I'm going to have them all start at the bottom on the zero. You could have them start somewhere and they have to adjust, but this is where it's going to start. All right, so I used this to add more points. When I scroll down, so there's really like two parts to this question. The top part is where you set up your bar graph, and then, or whatever type of graph you're going to do. And then down here, I'm going to set this up to show the correct answers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here at my choices. So I had green beans at 66, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to drag this up to 66. Oops. Ooh. Now you notice I couldn't drag it but by 5, so let me show you how to fix that. So down here at the bottom are additional options. I'm going to click here. I want it to snap to I'm going to have it a little harder for them. I'm going to put it in units of two. I could have it snap by ones so that it would let them do it by ones. Now, while we're down here, let's look at some other options. For this question, I am making a bar graph. But look, when you come down to additional setup options, like right here, you can make a line graph, a histograph, a dot plot, and a line plot graph. Now down here at the bottom, I can also give the kids the ability by clicking some of these that they can edit these. So if I would put the wrong names here or um, I could have them edit those, I can have them add additional um, information to my graph by clicking on this. You just have to select this if you want them to be able to add additional information. Now. For this, if um, I want them to, maybe I want to give them credit if they're off by one one point when they're counting. So if they had marked 65 instead of 66, it would still give them credit. That's up to you. All right, so I've started. Uh, let me add, put this on 66 because I've got it, remember, counting by twos. So two, four, six. There we go. Now for the next one, 54 for corn. So all I do is just drag these up and set them where they were going to, what is the correct answer response. This way it will grade it for me. Spinach was 42, so I'm going to get to 42. And peas would be 38. 
So all I have to do is set these up and now it's ready to go. The last thing that I'm going to do at the bottom is I'm going to click on save to save that question. Thanks for watching.